Satnam, Amadev here offering a general reading as always explore what resonates within you and a lot coming through and it feels like respect your timeline is huge and this tree has been a beautiful um, source of inspiration um, because when you look at the line of the trees like it appears that life is coming through and initially this tree looked like it wasn't like ready to show itself, present itself. So perhaps it's time to trust that your soul is on its own timeline and you're healing your manifestation. And will you trust that the heart work that you've put in, the prayers that you've put out into the universe will manifest and they manifest and it feels like some people i had a conversation with someone recently about um manifesting and there's a couple times when i've just spoken something into existence and it hit and i received and it was exactly as i said i even had one time my guides i was like man I, like after the fact and they're like that's exactly what you asked for and i was like oh yeah you're right <laughs> So it's, I'm not saying that to say be careful. It, it feels like when your vibration meets what you're ready to receive, it will come through. And sometimes it happens in the background and it feels like right now in this transition period, there might be some cleaning up on your part to make sure that you're making room for it to come through. And it's not so much a test I just personally don't like to think of the universe testing us <laughs> because I don't feel like there's a pass fail in this life. It's a, we can keep going and we keep, keep stay in the cycle or we step out. I'm seeing a washing machine. Like, <laughs> like you can move to the next cycle. <laughs> are you going to clean it up? How are you going to clean it up? And how are you going to take the time to allow the light to come in? to push through any resistance and you know uh recently uh cole and divine scarlet and i chatted and cole mentioned uh, a meditation she had so you might want to look at that because i was getting calling in the light but she described it in a very different way than i was seeing it and it's no right or wrong good or bad it's how the universe or how our guides and how energy works through us and it does feel like sit with the light and allow that to be the magic to transform it was like uh beauty and the beast you know when he transforms from the beast to the human and like the light moves through his feet i was seeing that um can you tell my sister <laughs> i was at the age where like all those vhs were relevant uh, you know um little mermaid all of them so what is your wish fulfillment and will you sit with the energy to receive that? And rather than disassociating by wanting to jump out of your experience to know and like stay in the mental body, can you allow the energy body to do its magic? Let the emotional body clear and the mental body sit back. So I got a couple decks out. We'll see where we go. Um, I did shuffle through, I have two of my decks out, um, and Stand Your Ground uh, is standing out, because I, I feel it's more of just like bringing that energy on the earth plane through you, um, and letting you, your example of joy and life and living outside of the box, um, being an example of what can be on this earthly plane. the words cast aside came to mind so have you cast yourself aside in what you want it's like when you have that idea that hit you want to write that book you you want to start that program you want to have that next level of relationship or commitment or you want to make that move how are you talking yourself out of it because at one point you were cast aside right and because there, i'm going to speak to third party here just because there's three in the picture and third party could be that someone else has commitments elsewhere it doesn't mean that they're they're cheating although how has that deception impacted what you believe you're capable of receiving in a commitment 
uh, and how does that change the mental body and how you zero in on different behaviors or what you allow to come in for yourself um, and perhaps maybe it's not so much a third party it could be a third party trans um, manifested or what you allow based on how the family ties any games in the family ties so think of the self-talk tape but when we dial that back what are the games played in the family system in the workplace or in any commitments you've had and will you rise above that then the next I got, these are the just the way the deck split um, the world how is that coming to completion and what I like about this card specifically is like a recipe we can Google something we can look at a recipe book we can pull out a magazine and and we could look at someone else's story uh, Mel Robbins talks about like and I've heard other people in um, Parks and Rec like <laughs> we're not reinventing things it's like roll with what works um, for me I like to I'd like it to come from the inside out. I don't look for, like to look from the outside and then tra translate it. Um, but from this, what I like is like, you can have a recipe and you can change some of the ingredients, right? You can take that as a template, but you can also flip through and look for another recipe, another source of inspiration. It's like choices, options, they're, the word congruent is coming what is congruent with the soul what is congruent with the energy body versus what is outlined from you from the outside so you got four cards that kind of popped in let's take a look at that page of wands learning to manage your energy and are you willing to wear an earthly crown are you willing to wear an earthly crown okay King of Pentacles, managing the moves on the earthly plane, um, looking. And so the king, just like the emperor, um, I see the emperor is a little bit higher standing, but think not only of the way that a, a king can make a move on the chessboard. So there are, you have a team that supports you, right? And so allow your guide team to help you make moves. Allow your tribe to support you. Allow yourself to not micromanage your experience, but not like overdo it. Like use your resources, not on stepping on someone's head or using people as in degrading them, but like you don't know how if you work in partnership with others, how it can be a cohesive opportunity on both ends and then some. Wheel of Fortune, that's very interesting to see the Wheel of Fortune and, um, and the world together. So what's still spinning, spinning in the mental body that's keeping you from seeing what's what could be brought to the table, what you bring to the table, what you could create together to sit and share a meal. Um, I'm, I'm just going from recipe and when I turn my head to look at the other card that was out, we have the king and queen. So things coming to balance in the material, and I believe that has to do with partnership and probably where the mind could be juggling is because the energy body is trying to clean things up. This is my cleanup deck. <laughs> and rather than regressing from the patterns of the past, are you, ra are you willing to step out of the disillusionment and take a chance on yourself that you are capable of balancing who you are on this planet and really bringing something forth and you're working you know on one level people see one thing and on another level you are you're working in multiple dimensions i just can't stress that enough <laughs> all right let's see let's see what the other decks have we can do a deck let me just spread these out so I can take a look to see if anything else comes up because I can't see in the screen. So she's got three fingers up. And 
and she's putting someone in her place. So whether what needs to be put in time out, <laughs> whether your mental body needs to reassess and realign and get on board with the growth that the soul and the emotional body is leveling up to. And how are you going to delegate enough so you can sit back? Because you deserve joy. You deserve time to play. You deserve time to <laughs> sit back and have a glass of wine. Excuse me if you don't drink. Um, it could be another level of communion or what have you. Are you fixated in some way of how things are meant to be aligned as opposed to how they're destined to align and your energy body is telling you that and you're learning to trust it and listen to that nine of pentacles it's all coming through to for you okay your step above the rest they're saying uh what needs to be cut out what needs to be cut out that you're like mm -mm, this no longer aligns with me and that's okay it's okay because you don't know until you feel it out you don't know what it's like to explore this opportunity and that until you've stepped into it and there's a certain amount that your meditation can give you and the energy can come through and teach you the the ways of existence the ways of clarity only move so far in the energy body because the material realm you you are required to take steps in the material you have to work as above so below love this look like yes 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 <laughs> this deck was calling out um with this deck i would encourage you if something um stands out in this deck to me this is about alignment your energy currency as well as the transits and the, the grid system on this planet and that grid system can be between energy vortexes people you're aligned to and what you're accustomed to um you're being called to level up outside of your traditional playing field and dispel the illusion structure what structure do you need to create for yourself and what structure are you being called to break free of and set the example of fuck that <laughs> Uh, seventh house relationship which is interesting we have venus retrograde coming out um that's a a six and a nine so past the three so your manifestation has been heard opposition where are you in opposition and where are you going to like i said stand your ground to fight for what you believe is true and you're on when you're on this delightful journey you know, you're going to kick up resistance from others. I wanted to look for the seven of sort. Oh, here we go. You're going to kick up resistance to other, from others. I, I love it how naysayers want to <laughs> project their own fears onto you. Like, oh, honey, don't do that. And it's really because they've made a mistake or they're afraid of change. And if they keep you in their box, then they can stay in their box and we can all be happy because everyone's in their box living this faulty sense of reality, right? But what happens when you break free of that and say, you know what? There's more, there's more. And I'm gonna commune with the divine and have a healthy relationship with my fear. I'm gonna have a healthy relationship with change. I'm going to have a healthy relationship for those I choose to allow in my energy field and I choose to share my time with. So be willing to get comfortable with confrontation to setting boundaries and this new level of existence that is both with and beyond words. All right, last set of decks. This is uh, Soul Path, Numerology, and the Empower Fucking Mint deck. It's amazing how sometimes things just move right through you so quickly and other times our resistance is otherwise. Safe and secure. Those of you who have been listening to me, you're going to laugh at me on this. <laughs> but yes, trust you're safe. Trust that your manifestation is meant for you. What's aligned for you will come through for you. Then no one can take your peace and joy away. So fight for what you believe is true. 
what wants to come through you? What light is penetrating the surface of your reality to bring in something new? Oh, as a as a red ladybug. Ladybug. Let's see if she'll show herself here. Yeah. Bottom deck, trust. So pay attention to uh, signs, synchronicities, and numbers and how they progress. Um, the divine's been speaking a little bit more through license plates, and it was double digits for now for a while, and now it's um, uh, triple digits. I'm gonna pull the next deck. Um, uh, what needs to shift? So what needs to change for you to believe in your growth, for you to believe in the divine, and for you to trust? To trust in your ability to make a decision. This bug on my I don't want on my shoulder. Um, and your ability more to receive from the divine. Because it's it's really another level of communication. Um, and because it's beyond words, and we've been taught so much to function from the rational mind and the thinking body. And the emotional body needs a somatic experience to shake out that resistance. And the soul is really pushing through that light. And the more that you resist it, the more that life on this planet becomes uncomfortable. And where, where is the reciprocity? And are you willing to take what's yours? Are you willing to, I'm kind of saying like a restaurant, like sitting at a table, are you willing to order up and then sit and enjoy the meal because you deserve it and you've asked for it, you've worked for it, and you've got the money or the credit card to pay for it, I guess. I don't know. Sometimes I see images and I don't quite know how to translate it. And I feel like for a general reading or a personal reading that you have the opportunity to take it as you will. Just like when the divine has a download for you or has a connection for you or a new job, a new playing field, it's up to you to make your right, left, forward, back. And do you want to stand in the corner or do you want to step up? I also got some um, song lyrics. I almost forgot, forgot about that. And I have listened to this song lately, so I, I wasn't quite sure, but um, the way to give me the word to spell. And in that song, it's kind of like, um, I'll have to put the lyrics in, in in the description, but just know that I've also listened to it, but it popped in this morning first thing in the wee hours. Um, so you take that as, as you want. Well, I do hope this served well. Thank you for your support. It is beautiful when I hear um, hear how this serves i don't need the validation i shouldn't need it but it does make a difference and it is heartwarming to know oh that bird that's a hawk um that this serves well and it, it's it's just an honor when you reach out for a reading or you share your stories because um it's a level of vulnerability and that sharing i don't take lightly so lots of love and many thanks. Satnam.